when I'm teaching there. The Department of Electrical Engineering, uh, Mechanical Engineering and Energy Engineering. Uh, recently, uh, the National Engineering School of Monastir was uh, accredited with uh, the label uh, ERASE from uh, the European uh, Community for uh, six years for uh, the uh, for uh, spe uh, specials and uh, all the departments. As uh, you see <coughs> here in the, our website, we have uh, the career management. Uh, also uh, for uh, new engineering uh, section where some colleagues are interested for uh, uh, some development and uh, to improve uh, the engineering insertion in, uh, the, for, for working. Uh, in our campus we have some uh, doctoral school where uh, we have uh, doctoral uh, for the textile engineering, for mechanical and for uh, energy engineering also. Uh, the training, uh, we have uh, presential and uh, or not presential uh, for uh, institution. We have uh, all, uh, uh, yeah, here for, for the, the website for the doctoral school <coughs> for each department. And uh, some other information, if you have interest in for getting collaboration where, where you can see the list of uh, our uh, teachers and uh, the, 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 their CV and uh, the whole presentation of our some many laboratories in our school. And that's it for uh, the institution and the website. Uh, shall I uh, switch to the main presentation now? Yeah, I will just unshare myself so you can present. Yeah. yeah I've unshared, now you can present yourself. Sir. Yeah, is it clear now? Yeah, it's very much clear. Yeah. <clears throat> so good afternoon. First of all, I would like to express my personal thanks to the organizer committee for this webinar and their kind invitation. As I said, my name is uh, Dr. Engineer uh, Sofian Beltufa. I am from Textile Engineering Department in the National Engineering School of Monastir from uh, University of Monastir in Tunisia. I am very happy to talk you uh, uh, here to be here and to talk you about the comfort in sportswear and medical textile. Uh, uh, first of all, I will uh, yeah. the next. Uh, I will introduce myself from um, uh, here, as you said, the label it is for the accreditation of our school is label Enim. In French, it's Ecole Nationale d'Ingénieur de Monastir. Uh, my main uh, research focused on medical textile, uh, smart materials such as uh, also textile heat and mass transfer, such as capillary weak and wet and permeability porosity and flammability. Uh, comfort measurement uh, setup. Also, I am a designer and I'm trying to manufacture and programming for capillary permeability, electrical resistivity, and capacitive moisture management setup. Uh, the outline of uh, the presentation is as follows. First of all, I will uh, start with uh, an example of a sample of uh, a textile medical application and to, to take insight for the importance of the comfort for the textile in the medical field. Uh, the sec the, secondly, the comfort, the, the clothing comfort. Uh, and the, the third uh, place will uh, introduce the thermophysical comfort parameters, some definition and some parameters, uh, and how the, uh, the 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 last part and how the effect of the garments properties of uh, the thermophysical comfort. <coughs> So uh, I will start with uh, my uh, recent papers published uh, in uh, uh, Applied Polymer Science and the other one, the Carbohydrate Polymers, where <coughs> I, uh, I try with my colleagues to synthesize uh, fabrics for antibacterial activity and also for stimuli responsive 
uh, in order to get some uh, improvement in comfort for this medical uh, and use material. Uh, as you know, all that the functionalities of uh, textiles has often up new fields of application in addition to standard clothing. Uh, where new performance were joined to the textile materials such as antibacterial uh, properties. Uh, properties. Uh, currently, new uh, areas of textile application for specific fields include hair care, industry home textiles, and sportswear uh, area have been identified. Uh, development of the textile, uh, medical textile, occupied uh, an increasing interest because uh, it mean uh, it meet <coughs> and confer serious health uh, problems such as bacteria growth. So uh, in our works, as I said, we synthesize uh, two steps. Uh, first of all, the hydrogel was synthesized from the ketosan, and as you know that uh, the uh, ketosan is a pH a pH uh, stimuli responsive and swelling and this will and this is very important for us to uh, introduce uh, or to improve the comfort this is the first idea uh, using the same property for ph stimuli responsive uh, properties we can make some drug release where uh, swelling and this swelling uh, for absorbing water or ex expelling water also uh, the activation of the textile it was a cotton fabric it was uh, mainly done by physical way and chemi purely chemical way, such as unionization and cationization. Uh, the figure is as follow. <coughs> In addition with the ketosan, we have added a fully pump hydrogel, which is a temperature uh, stimuli responsive. So we here we have synthesized a double uh, functionality fabric uh, with which is a pH and uh, temperature uh, stimuli responsive. And finally, we should we have the notes that uh, uh, the antibacterial uh, activity inhibition uh, was uh, really improved, uh, improved and it's very promising uh, according to this one. <coughs> uh, but unfortunately, the comfort uh, properties of the medical textile, especially those in contact with the human skins, were uh, neglected for many years. That's why I will take insight here the importance of the comfort for some medical textile. Uh, as you know, that the comfort is very developed for the sportswear uh, fields, but in medical field, not yet. <coughs> Uh, as you know all that there are different factors which, which uh, influence the comfort uh, of the clothing, which are social uh, factors, economic factors, environment factors, and uh, physiological factors for a person such as uh, age, health, uh, condition, uh, health condition, physical uh, structure, and thermophysical response of and physical uh, and uh, activity level. Uh, when trying to define uh, comfort, we have to, to, to consider that the comfort is a fundamental and universal uh, need of a human being. However, it's very complex and it's very difficult to define comfort positively, but this comfort can easily be described in various terms such as heavy, it's uh, rough, hot and cold. Also comfort is <clears throat> a natural state compared to uh, the more active state of pleasure uh, it's uh, also the absence of unpleasantness and discomfort. Uh, it's the temperature regulation of the human uh, body. And it's also influenced by physical uh, reaction of the worry. <clears throat> Considering the definition, is the widely accepted definition of the comfort can be as follows. It's a pleasant state of uh, physiological, psychological, and uh, physical harmony between the human being and the environment. So here we can note that uh, uh, for the comfort, uh, 
you, 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 we have to consider <coughs> the human being and its environment and the harmony of the interaction. When trying to develop some fabrics or some using some medical textile next to the skin, we have to consider those those parameters. I think that someone has some questions. Yeah. Shut. Can you see the questions, doctor? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can anybody who wants anybody who wants to ask a question, do type in the answer the question in the message box, please. Can possible uh, polyester? I don't. Well, I didn't understand the the questions here. For from Disha, it's a guest. We will talk about polyester here. Ah, for the activation. Yeah, yeah. It's possible for uh, uh, polyester. And now we are trying to uh, activate polyester using uh, ketosan, polynepam, and uh, other uh, polymers also. Yeah, it's possible. But you know that uh, polyester is uh, the most difficult fiber to activate. Not like uh, the cutter. Uh, usually, in the definition, we have to uh, co uh, to consider uh, that uh, comfort is also related to the subject perception of uh, various human senses, such as visual, aesthetic, and comfort, thermal, cold, and warm, pain, uh, practical, and itch, uh, touch, smooth, rough, and so forth. Uh, Let's move now to the types of the comfort. Uh, uh, thermal comfort, sensorial comfort, tactile movement, the easiness of the body movement, social, uh, psychological, and finally with the design where fashion and the age gender also will be considered. The functionality were to be helpful for any functional firefighter dress uniform for uh, as uh, such uh, example, and uh, especially thermal comfort is an important uh, role on the comfort of the wearer. Uh, before moving to the other one, where is the chemical available and can we use it in a polyester bamboo blend? Uh, chemical. Uh, all uh, the chem chemical uh, used here uh, from uh, uh, Alderich, it's, uh, we, we, we were using, and uh, uh, we have uh, with some colleagues in the chemistry department, we are trying to uh, uh, make uh, ketosan from uh, such industry uh, uh, waste, <coughs> and it's possible. Yeah. As you know now that uh, there is a significant rise in uh, the interest of the population worldwide in active indoor, outdoor sports and outdoor leisure time activity. So the comfort is, uh, uh, is a very important to be considered. <coughs> before considering the comfort and before uh, the, uh, trying to improve such some properties, we have to take or uh, to consider uh, different functions and aspects. There are many uh, aspects that uh, should be considered in order to design sports uh, uh, fabric. Uh, the protection function, the thermal, uh, the comfort function, the exercise function, where to assist to make improvement of some athletes and to make to make easier for the recuperation, etc. Aesthetic and apparent with the fashion ability that uh, could be easier to uh, manufacture. So clothing uh, is an important issue for, uh, for general consumers. Uh, active athletes and uh, for those to practice, uh, practice sports uh, only in, uh, in their leisure. Uh, desirable prepared of functional uh, sports and leisure wear uh, were defined such as optimum heat and moisture regulation, 
rapid uh, moisture absorption and convenience capacity, as I mentioned in my publication by uh, 2007. Uh, good air and water permeability, prevention of a long term film and of dumbness, low water absorption of the layer next to the skin, uh, quick drying ability, uh, dimensional stability, smart and functional design, light uh, weight, uh, durable, and the easy care also should be considered. <coughs> when the center of our work as uh, before trying to design any fabric in the fabric engineering uh, what is it we should consider the map of the human body uh, and human sweeten is a primary uh, a means of uh, thermoregulation which is achieved by water uh, rich, uh, secretion of the glands the maximum sweet rate of adult comp could be between two to four liters per hour uh, or uh, pe 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 as presented per day. <coughs> you know that uh, the human uh, body is like a machine. So where the heat balance and thermoregulation uh, system is the whole and the main part of our comfort and uh, uh, the harmony of our environment. For example, the temperature and the humidity of the environment have an important effect on our body skins and the anterior uh, uh, temperature, but the core uh, uh, temperature, uh, human beings is a normal uh, internal body term is it's about uh, 37 uh, degrees uh, Celsius with a tolerance of uh, uh, 0.6, uh, 0.5 uh, <coughs> degree C during the rest. Uh, so any difference in this value causes change in the rates of the heat loss or the heat production to keep the body temperature at this level. So we are trying to make a balance for our core. Uh, for the thermal balance of the body, on the, the body here, uh, of the body, the heat transfer from to the body is most important parameter that should be considered. So the major factors of the thermal comfort are climatic condition, the level of uh, physical activity and the thermal property of the comfort. This uh, three uh, factors should be considered in order to evaluate the comfort and the thermal comfort. Uh, this is related to the heat uh, balance where the heat energy produced by the metabolism is equivalent to the rate of the heat transfer transfer from the body. Uh, and in which ways and how the heat is transferred from the body? Uh, there are uh, different types of this uh, transfer, for, such as conduction. When talking about the conduction, it relies on the case of the clothes. Uh, this may be between fabric uh, layers in contact with each other, other, or between the fabric and the human skin. The convection with the convective uh, heat transfer occurs between a fluid in motion and the boundary surface of the different temperature. Uh, there is uh, also a radiation, the radiation, the thermal radiation is transferred from the, uh, in the form of uh, electromagnetic uh, waves. Evaporation and condensation, which is a heat transfer, may be also to the phase change of the water. Example, the evaporation and some subsequent condensation of the sweat. And we have the perspiration. <coughs> As he as illustrated or presented here. Uh, in order to understand how the loss of the heat is transferred from the body and to design a comfortable fabric or the comfortable garment, we have to know in the, the way and the, uh, the real amount uh, uh, from the body loss. So, as you uh, personally, uh, I think that. Uh, as the first that the perspiration or the evaporation has the great amount for heat loss but uh, conduction is the less five percent perspiration uh, respiration time just ten percent of the whole uh, thermal loss 
the evaporation about uh, 20%, convection uh, 25%, and the, the last one is radiation with electromagnetic uh, waste. It's about the half of the all uh, the heat uh, loss. So uh, as you know, maybe here for some textiles, and I'm still working on, on it, uh, how to make with the inferred uh, uh, radiation to uh, uh, for, uh, emitted or uh, lost for, from the body to to recuperate them and uh, to improve uh, self heating for uh, sleep uh, night uh, dresses and something like this. Uh, in the heat uh, balance, the cycle is as of the thermal regulation is as follow. So during heavy activity, the body produces lots of heat energy and the body temperature increases. At this time, in order to reduce the height of the temperature, the body uh, perspires, uh, perspires a lot of liquid and vapor form in vapor form. While this perspiration is transmitted to the atmosphere, the body temperature reduced and then the body feels cool and so on. So this is the whole cycle of the thermoregulation <coughs> uh, system. Uh, the very important mechanism is the sweetening. Sweetening is a necessary and it's a powerful mechanism for the body coolant. The heat and the moisture balancing between the body and the environment determines the level of the, uh, of the thermal comfort of the human uh, body as mentioned by Williams. <coughs> the main function of the clothing is to constitute a regulation system to keep the body temperature at the mean value even if outer atmospheric uh, condition and physical activity change. So these garments are the thermal barrier between the human body and the environment. But in order to design or to choose the suitable garments as a thermal barrier for our body, we should uh, consider also the, the types of the thermal comfort. Uh, for example, the two major determinants of the thermal comfort are personal variable and environment variable. The clothing and insulation uh, activity level for deciding the metabolism rate uh, for the environment, the temperature of the air, the velocity of the air, humidity, and also the mean radiant temperature. If the air, for example, uh, if the air temperature is higher than the skin temperature, the heat transfer will uh, actually be reversed and the body will gain the heat from the environment. If uh, the air is cold and exposed to the sunlight, uh, it's beneficial to decrease the radiant heat loss transfer of the body. The amount of moisture, uh, of, uh, the moisture in the air defines the water vapor pressure temperature. Uh, if uh, the moisture content in the air is, is really depends on the temperature, for example, uh, the air, uh, the colder air, the less moisture can be stored until saturation is reached. Also, the air uh, movements affect the convective as well as the evaporative heat loss, uh, which are logically uh, higher and increasing uh, wind speeds. Uh, we hope uh, and thanks God that uh, this mechanism is uh, naturally is uh, also uh, is governed by our uh, body sensors and our body brain. We we have not uh, to consider this or to take care of, of this uh, difficult mechanism. <clears throat> for the personal uh, variable, here's for, uh, for the clothing, the clothing insulation, its uh, uh, value uh, is a thermal resistance of the clothing system. The clothing is uh, zero for a naked person, as mentioned, here, I will laser pointer, yeah, here. And it's one for a person uh, wearing a typical business uh, suit, shirt, undershirt, trousers, and suit jackets. Uh, 
Uh, normally, uh, the human body feels comfortable at about uh, 29 uh, degrees C uh, in unclothed states. And uh, 26 for the clothing is about uh, 0 06 uh, clo. The air temperature is on uh, the surround air temperature uh, could affect the thermal comfort and uh, how it will be uh, uh, function. Uh, for, for example, the surround air temperature affects the rate of heat loss from the body to the convection and evaporation. I will uh, see the... Mm -hmm. Please can you share contact for like and develop and use this chemical? What is the... I will... Uh, the question here, what is your view on how human metabolic change of the comfort of wearing. Uh, mm -hmm. As I see that the the, the, the main uh, our body uh, try to make uh, a balance, uh, uh, and uh, just to I forgot the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The comfort is really affected by, for example, when we are uh, in cold uh, climate or heat climate, uh, we, we are not in, uh, eating the same uh, uh, foods. For example, when uh, in the cold area should uh, uh, very uh, heavy foods that uh, when uh, they try to to produce uh, a lot of uh, heat and for uh, people uh, living in a very hot area you will not uh, eat the same so the, the human machine is a very uh, uh, a, a human body is is a machine that could affect uh, could uh, try to make uh, a balance for the comfort, uh, there are, uh, as we will see some parameters uh, after this, there are uh, quantitative parameters that we could uh, estimate, that could be estimated and could be uh, 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 calculated and measured, and some other uh, parameters that they are psychological. It depends from one person. For example, for me, I I don't support uh, the high temperature uh, and uh, I, I'm feeling very good when we in winter, not uh, in uh, summer. Yeah. Uh, as I said that the surround air temperature affects the rate of the heat loss from the body by convection and evaporation. Uh, with the variation of relative humidity, MRT and air flow, the air temperature must be adjusted in order to maintain the comfort conditions. Uh, the MRT, the mean radiant temperature, is defined as uniform surface temperature in the contact with the skin. Uh, also, it determines the convective uh, heat transfer. Different uh, properties of material on contact also influence the heat exchange uh, and the temperature felt by the sensor in the skin. Uh, the amount of the moisture of the air, the water vapor partial pressure uh, in the environment, uh, air height moisture contents cannot absorb uh, much uh, more from the skin. So the evaporation uh, and the heat loss of the skin are higher in the dry, uh, in the drier and warmer air condition. Uh, also, the body heat loss uh, or the gain by convection and evaporation is significantly affected by the movement of the air and uh, uh, the heat loss getting higher with the increasing wind speed. For example, the thermal uh, resistance uh, of uh, fabrics are inversely proportional to the air speed. Uh, 
as any uh, of this variable chance, the other needs to be adjusted to maintain the thermal balance between the heat gain and the heat loss in order to continue the confort uh, conditions. The clothing, uh, the clothing is uh, one of the most determined factor for the comfort. If the garment has a high level of the heat transfer capacity, it will be helped to keep the thermal balance to the body. Uh, as an ideal cloth, it should have some properties or some functionality, uh, such as high thermal resistance for the cold protection, low water vapor uh, resistance uh, to be uh, efficient in the heat uh, transfer. Uh, also, it has to, uh, to have a rapid liquid uh, transport to eliminate the unpleasant tactile sensation due to the water under the high thermal stress conditions. Uh, also, the air permeability or breathability. Uh, so, so here I'd, I I try to make uh, to 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 simulate. <coughs> Uh, to, to simulate those comfort uh, parameters. For example, here we have the human body with the interception and perception physiological aspects. And in the skins, we have uh, some convection, uh, evaporation, and here, by the textile in the garment, we have the conduction and the surround. To rain, snow, evaporation, wind, uh, and other parameters, uh, we can define the thermophysical comfort as follow. This is the main parameters, which are air permeability, uh, evaporative resistance, drain time, which is very important, moisture management, and we will talk. I will talk about this uh, parameter and this, this significant and how to measure them uh, later. Thermal resistance, thermal conductivity, thermal absorptivity. Uh, I think that we have here. Mm -hmm. no. But is the point of view on phase change material that becomes warm than if the body is the cold and keeps the warm on the outside? <coughs> yeah. Uh, phase uh, change material, uh, the PCM, are very important and very interesting, and uh, they are uh, used uh, commonly. I will talk about them, but my point of view, I don't, I didn't prefer the phase change material to improve comfort cause the function cause the regulation the uh, added value of the textile is in the very short time where to uh, I, I i will um, i will i will present this uh, later we have uh, i have uh, also a, a slide talk about this <coughs> So let's return here. Uh, two main parameters are presented here. And uh, in my work for more than 10 years, I try to define them uh, with uh, some literature review <coughs> and some uh, other collaboration with other colleagues. And I think that the main comfort parameters could be uh, presumed in the 13 uh, uh, properties, which the air permeability, relative water, water permeability, wet and time, absorption rate, maximum wetted uh, uh, radius, diffusion kinetics, liquid transport, moisture management, adiathermic properties, which related to the thermal and uh, conductivity and thermal resistance, the contact angle, uh, the thermal conductivity, the thermal resistance, thermal absorptivity, which is a warm, cool <coughs> field. So here, the human body, as I mentioned, is a very complex, uh, is uh, efficient and reactive and adaptive to the thermal system. The interaction between a human and the environment, uh, their clothing via the heat transfer, such as conduction, convection, radiation, evaporation, are function of the thermal uh, 
uh, uh, thermoregulation <coughs> of the human body. So in order to simulate uh, this X charge, we have to consider the 13 main parameters. Uh, if the importance of each parameter, it depends on the end use. For example, <coughs> when trying for uh, uh, cycling, uh, I think that the air permeability, wet and time, and uh, liquid transport, moisture management are more important than speaking about thermal uh, properties and thermal uh, conduct uh, conductivity. Some uh, manufacturers here, uh, Apple, which are uh, using uh, some uh, standard and other without uh, standard, but we have uh, clear protocol to simulate and to measure <coughs> the properties which are uh, really significant and to compare so raw materials, uh, yarns, uh, 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 fabrics and finished uh, fabrics and the effect of uh, the finishing uh, treatments which uh, could have uh, an effect on the thermal comfort properties of the fabric. Here we have uh, air per permeability. Uh, here we have the Alon Beta, which uh, is manufactured by the sensor from the Czech Republic by um, my uh, friend and colleague, uh, Professor Hersley Boss, measuring for the thermal properties. Here we have the skin model, uh, the permatest for measuring the water vapor permeability. Here from the SDL Atlas, the MMT, the moisture management uh, test, which is based on the resistivity <coughs> to measure. Uh, the diffusion and the kinetics of the drop from uh, uh, the top of uh, the, the fabric. <coughs> and here we have a climatic condition to measure some uh, thermal parameters. So, uh, as I say, the, the, the main parameters could be detailed and if we have to understand the physical way, way and the physical uh, definition in order to meet some improvement in the textile comfort. As uh, mentioned before, here we have the thermal resistance. The thermal resistance, uh, uh, it's uh, an indication of the insulation of the material. It is connected with the term thermal conductivity and the fabric thickness by the relationship. For example, if uh, the fabric has a uh, higher thickness, we think with the same conductivity, so it's uh, the, 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 it, it will have, uh, uh, it will be more resistive to the heat flow, so the resistivity will be higher. Uh, fabric with higher thermal resistance provide better protection from the cold and the hot uh, weather. It, uh, it will be as a protective barrier for us. The thermal absorptivity, which is the f uh, namely called the warm call feeling, uh, was firstly introduced by Kawabata and um, uh, some uh, some researchers of uh, Professor Hesley was from the Czech Republic uh, to to make uh, some <coughs> mathematical model and uh, with using his apparel for. Uh, a setup uh, which is the alarm beta to measure it. Uh, the term absorptive did describe the warm or the cool feeling at the first contact of the human. So when trying to model it, uh, just uh, like to, to put a finger on the surface of the of the fabric. Uh, when the human touches the garment, uh, that is uh, at the different temperature in the skin, the heat exchange occur between the body and the fabric. And uh, this value of the B, which is the uh, uh, thermal absorptivity, could present it as follow. Uh, as you see, uh, it's uh, really, really related to the thermal conductivity, the fabric density, and the specific heat uh, of the fabric. Fabric with a uh, low value of the thermal absorptivity gives a warmer feeling. Can, could be used in uh, winter, and the warm initial sensation created a positive feeling, special for cold weather. Uh, the relative water vapor permeability, uh, just uh, here, it could be expressed with uh, the 
هلا the perma test or other standard methods using from the SDL at last the hot guarded hot plate. This value of the rate of transmission through the matter is very important for the fabric used especially for sportswear. It defines if the weather the water vapor can be can be transferred to the atmosphere or not. It condenses on the uh, if the water is not uh, the water vapor is not transferred to the surround environment, will have uh, some uh, discomfort uh, sensation, which is caused by the accumulation of the water, and the condensation between the skin and the fabric, and uh, the, this is not very good, especially for the athletic in the high level or the high level bodily activity. The, uh, the air permeability, the air permeability, it's what's defined physically by the rate of the air flow, uh, flow passing uh, through a known area and the uh, pres prescribed air pressure, which is defined as the difference between the two uh, surface material. It's known that, uh, excuse me, it is known that the fabric with the high air permeability can achieve air circulation in the microclimate and the excess of water can be transferred from uh, the body easily. Here we cannot talk about breathability and respirability and unfortunately that are not well defined and that they did, doesn't mean the, the, the same thing. For example, for the barrier mask, some standards, some suggestions uh, recommendation uh, that uh, the air permeability should be greater than uh, 96 liter met, uh, square meter per, per, per second. <coughs> in this part, we will focus on uh, the main uh, effective properties of the of the garment. For, for example, here the comfort characteristics of the garment are affected by the properties of the fibers, yarn, fabric construction uh, and some chemical uh, treatment which have contributed to the construction of the clothes. So we'll start with the fiber properties as we know that the material properties such as fiber uh, or fiber contents uh, are the most important parameters to determine the cloth comfort. According to the general belief we have that uh, natural <coughs> fiber are uh, better comfort sense. However, cotton trans to absorb and to retain moisture. When, for example, in the high body, uh, level bodily activity, uh, the wet cotton garment uh, touched to the skin, the wearer really feels discomfort because of the slow dry cotton and cool uh, cold when wet characters. So cotton is not preferred to the sports wear. Uh, also, another natural fiber, which is the wool, it has a good uh, weakened properties, the high moisture retain and is a good insulator, even wet. But wool is also uh, slow to, to dry. <coughs> we have some uh, regenerated uh, fibers, which are uh, produced from uh, uh, natural sources generally uh, have a good absorption capacity, soft handle, good comfort properties, so they are proper to uh, base <coughs> uh, uh, to, to, to base layers in the active web. Uh, synthetic uh, fibers also uh, are able to provide a good combination between uh, moisture management, lightweight, lightweight high strength, durability, dimensional stability, abrasion resistant, insulation, and quick drying. Uh, combination between cotton and polyester uh, could uh, give a better comfort property that single fiber for sportswear. That's why we have, we will talk later about layered fabrics. <coughs> also, we have, uh, as we know, that the synthetic fiber are hydrophobic. Uh, the voice is not clear. You, you hear me? Uh, 
Yeah, I can hear you. No problem. Uh, uh, okay. What is your answer, Martin? Okay. Uh, synthetic fibers are hydrophobic. Uh, so the fabric from this fiber have dimensional stability, excellent uh, resistance to dirt and to the alkalis for chemical uh, agent. The soft, uh, there is a lot of noise. From, uh, uh -huh. you can hear I will you. try. No problem. No, no problem. Okay. <coughs> ah, better now. An excellent resistance to the dirt and the alkali, soft feeling, easy care properties, low moisture absorption, and have low cost. Okay. Uh, you can hear me. Thanks. We are they are generally preferred as a base layer uh, for active uh, wear. <coughs> Also, we have <coughs> some other modified synthetic fibers, such as profiled uh, fibers. Uh, you know that uh, there is a good development here and uh, takes the form of the cross-sectional shape of the nozzle. Uh, we have uh, shaped fibers, uh, triangular, X, C, S types, etc. And personally, personally, uh, with the uh, collaboration with uh, some uh, fibers manufacturers, we are trying to develop some uh, T-lobal with a uh, profile shape in the interior of the S type, which the, they are uh, they have very promising uh, moisture uh, kinetics and uh, the weakening uh, properties, and we think that uh, work in this main uh, form could uh, have uh, really uh, some super cooling uh, fabrics, etc. <coughs> uh, when uh, engineering, uh, engineering polyester yarn, uh, for, for example, uh, with the different section, uh, compared to the conventional polyester, uh, they uh, have, uh, they give a warmer feeling and provide uh, provide high, uh, higher thermal resistance. Also, there uh, we can talk about the microfibers. The microfibers is a staple of the filament fibers with the linear density between 0.3 to 1. DC takes. Fabric uh, made uh, from uh, microfiber are uh, lightweight, soft, resistant, wrinkled, and peeling. Uh, These fabrics have also very promising and interesting uh, uh, comfort properties, such as the high thermal insulation, uh, good air permeability, uh, good water vapor permeability, warm feeling, and luxurious uh, handle. <coughs> Other types of fibers, which are the hollow fibers, which uh, they have a higher thermal insulation because the trapped air here, we have the trapped air, uh, and we know that the air is the best insulator uh, thermally uh, and some holes. A fabric made from hollow fiber presents a high breathability, a lightweight uh, softness uh, beside high insulation. And uh, we'll talk now about uh, phase change materials as uh, demanded by uh, <coughs> a colleague. Now, uh, phase change material, uh, may commonly called the PCM, uh, the, this fiber contain uh, chemical that change from uh, being a liquid to a gel or to the solid some uh, according to the body temperature. The clothes produce, uh, produced from this fiber uh, keep uh, the body temperature at a constant uh, value in a different air permeability. When the micro capsules uh, contain paraffin are heated, the paraffin becomes uh, liquid from the heat energy stored. If the environment uh, cools, the paraffin becomes gel from the heat energy release. And here the main handicap and the main difficulty of the phase change material that uh, the, the number of the cycles that uh, could be uh, used. Here. <coughs> Uh, generally, we have to compare with, uh, if, uh, if, you, if you like, to compare with uh, some uh, 
uh, fibers properties in terms of comfort. Here you will compare cotton viscose tensile. The cotton has a higher <coughs> has the highest thermal insulation. Uh, tensile and viscose fiber have the highest water vapor permeability. Uh, cotton's uh, fiber gives a warmer feeling at initial touch. Tensile. <coughs> Uh, tensile and uh, viscous fibers have a higher air permeability. Here is uh, there is a good question about what is the purpose of the S-shaped cross sections. The S, uh, I will return here as if you like. Yeah, mm -hmm. the S is okay. Yeah. Here for, for the S, there are uh, the uh, uh, so the fabric will be uh, more uh, soft, and we will have uh, the entrapped air here. And for the weakened and wetting properties are very promising. It's uh, more uh, it's be the, it will be better than the X type or trilobal uh, forms. Well. Yeah, go back. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, trying to uh, mix or to blend different fibers on the different ratio, uh, some uh, searched, uh, some searched notes that, uh, for example, combine uh, cotton propylene and is blended. As the ratio of the polypropylene uh, fibers increase, the thermal resistance decreases, the water permeability, the water per, uh, permeability increases, and the fabrics give uh, a mild uh, feeling at the initial touch. Uh, combining uh, cotton agora and, uh, as a blinding fabric, uh, as the ratio of the agora increases, the thermal resistance increases. The water uh, vapor permeability decreases, and the fabric gives a warmer feeling of initial touch. <coughs> uh, here, as the same comparing, uh, for example, cotton soya bean, uh, cotton uh, sea cell blended fabrics, uh, as the ratio uh, increases with the cotton, the thermal resistance decreases, and the fabrics uh, uh, is uh, cooler a feeling. This is uh, and this fabric could be used for the hot atmosphere. Also, yarn uh, should be considered when trying to talk about uh, comfort or design or to design some uh, fabrics. This properties that could be uh, considered. A spinning technique, linear uh, density, hairness, pore size in the yarn, the distribution of the pore size, uh, blend ratio, chemical nature of the used uh, fibers, surface tension, and the fiber diameter and its cross uh, section. So many researchers have been focusing on this effect of the yarn parameters on the comfort properties of the fabric. For example, here, the fabric produced used a finer yarn, the thermal resistance decreases, the air permeability uh, increases, the water vapor permeability uh, increases, and, the, and it gives a mild feeling at initial uh, touch. <coughs> With the usage of uh, the elastin yarn, the fabric, the thermal resistance increases, the air permeability decreases, water vapor permeability decreases, and the fabric is heavy mild shield. Uh, with the decrease of the yarn twist value for the twisting, the thermal resistance increase, the air permeability decreases, the water vapor permeability decreases, and we have a warmer feeling in the initial touch. It's the same with the increasing the hardness of um, may, um, adding some texturation for the yarn. <coughs> uh, 
the fabric properties, let's move to the fabric properties. Uh, comfort characters of the garments are uh, mainly determined by the, the production methods of the fabric besides the property of the fibers on, on the yarn. Uh, the measured characters of the fibers uh, which are knitted, woven or non woven are the weight, light or heavy, compression, soft and hard, uh, banding, uh, flexible, uh, stiff, uh, stiff uh, thickness, thick, thin, Structure pattern of the surface uh, property smooth or rough. On the the main properties also to, to, to for the fabrics uh, they are the structural parameters or the structure properties that uh, could affect uh, directly the thermal comfort of the fabric, uh, uh, which are the amount of the entrapped air the pore shape and the pore size, uh, the bulk and the surface properties. Uh, in the last decade, there are, uh, they have been, uh, they have been uh, grown interest in the knitting fabric due to their simple production technique, low cost, high level of the closing comfort and the wild product range. For example, here when trying to manufacture too short for the parts where uh, we consider the elasticity, uh, softness, feeling, good handle, better transmission of the body worker, properties, uh, freedom of the movement. Here, as you see, that we have different uh, uh, different area with the different construction parameter. Uh, I, uh, we have to, as I mentioned, that uh, we can uh, consider the sedation uh, or the sweetened map in the human uh, body. <clears throat> also, one trying to, uh, so when speaking uh, to, uh, about the construction uh, parameters, uh, there are some surface properties with the smooth fabric surface that could be, uh, could provide uh, better heat conduction and cooler feeling because the less of the contact area uh, than the rougher surface. Uh, thick and heavy fibers have generally uh, less air permeability and higher thermal insulation. Uh, double jersey fabric has the warm uh, feeling and higher thermal resistance, uh, less air and water vapor permeability than single uh, jersey fabric. Open structure, we're trying to speak about the uh, mesh fabric, uh, present an advantage of the underwear in wet condition uh, because <coughs> of less of contact area and quick dry properties. Uh, the most commonly uh, used clothing system for the outdoor activity is uh, uh, the use of the light fabrics of the garment. This is not what I am actually meant uh, for, uh, after all, this uh, an example of the layered garment, which uh, I'm talking about uh, the layered fabric uh, that they have mentioned, not like this garment. So the, perform the performance of the layered fabric in the thermophysical uh, regulation is better than a single layer. So let's see <coughs> some typical example here. For, for example, fa layered fabric, to get the higher thermal insulation. How to get the higher thermal insulation? Uh, the fabric is thicker, and here we have the ability to entrap the air. So, as I said, that uh, the good, the best insulation is the air. Uh, higher uh, thermal insulation in the fabric. So different layer, double faced and fabric or a space of fabric, and this example can be used for the hair thermal insulation. Uh, uh, for the higher sweet uh, transmission, uh, we can use uh, two layers. For example, here, uh, the inner layers from the polyester, which is hydrophobic, and the silicic fabric is, is uh, hydrophilic here. Uh, for example, uh, the condensation of the sweet could be occurred in the, in the layer and the interrupted air between the skin and the fabric. Uh, 
uh, we have uh, the uh, difference of uh, uh, capillary forces or interaction forces. So uh, the the drop will uh, of water will be uh, evacuated easily in this way. Uh, in the atmosphere, we uh, uh, that will be uh, that will dry uh, uh, easier. Uh, we can talk also about uh, higher protection fabric with multi-layered, uh, generally uh, used three layers. Uh, one for uh, windproof, waterproof, uh, the middle uh, protective layer, and the inner, especially for sweet and liquid uh, vapor transmission. Uh, it consists in the, well, uh, three layers, as I said. Generally knitted fleece or pile fibers are preferred for the inner and the middle layers. Uh, the tightly woven fabric with or without a membrane, membrane is uh, used for outer layers. Uh, many fabric uh, finishing processes are used in order to make some fashion or some functionality or to improve the easy care of the fabric. Uh, we focused on the effect of this chemical uh, on finishing uh, treatment and the comfort properties such as bleaching, softening, water resistance, antibacterial, stain resilience, antistatic, wrinkle resistance, flame retardancy, uh, etc. Apply it in the fabric, yarn or the fibers to improve the quality of the product uh, that affect the fabric handle and the comfort property. For example, <coughs> uh, the breathability of the fabric decreases, uh, decreases of uh, closed capillary channel of the fabric with the cotton treatments. Uh, the fabric become warmer and less comfortable because reduced vapor vapor permeability after a silicone uh, softener process. Uh, for three uh, yarn fleece fabrics with bleaching treatment, uh, thermal resistance increase, water vapor and air permeability value decrease. Uh, Nappet fabrics with uh, high thermal insulation and air permeability values, as well as uh, having a warm feeling. Uh, with the uh, shearing after napping, thermal absorbability uh, increasing. Uh, yeah, you will uh, finish here. Here are some uh, references of uh, my previous uh, researches uh, and other from other colleagues. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, it was a pleasure being here today. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free uh, to ask.